At the time marches forward, Rin, Nezuko, and their friends have grown into full-fledged adults. Now with careers and responsibilities, they can no longer freely spend their days camping and adventuring. However, Chika Oraki, who currently works for the Yamatishi Tourist Organization, reunites the group as she comes up with an exciting proposal to build a campground together to realize an abandoned patch of land from their home place, the Yamishi Prefecture. Motivated by the ambiguous project, the girls combine their efforts to create an environment where future generations can enjoy unique moments as they once did, all while reminiscing the charm of camping from their high school days. This is a movie, so it has one episode, premiere July 1st of 2022, big our manga series, Genres Has a Life. It is two hours, and it's rated PG-13. Let's get started into the review. We are back with another anime review. Here I'm reviewing Laid Back Camp, the movie, where we take the idea where Nezuko had dreamed of, or kind of like daydream, nightdream, about what the game would be like as an adult, and each of them are in their respective field. Here we have Nezuko laying out camping equipment, so we assume she has something to do with creating like her own camping, like, type of like organization because she loves camping like that much and you know she in this picture it's like she has cut cut her hair and you know she still has the same feel of joy camping as she did when she was in high school still same on school still filled with the love for food camping and is having fun times with her friends and then after we here from Nesco in her adult form we have Rin who kind of works in like an office setting from the perspective we go from Nesco to Rin and seeing like how they're enjoying their adult lives and responsibilities and they have to bond and seeing for Rin herself she's kind of adapted the same experience except from her moped she's upgraded her motor campaign to motorcycle kind of following like her grandfather's footsteps where he would go around camping when he had free time travel around the Japanese prefectures and just traveling camping on his motorcycle so she seems to be following in his footsteps while Rin seems to be adjusting well adapted to her adult life. But what I have some challenge is, you know, every adult struggles to adapt to the job and responsibilities. And then we have their friends also adapting to their, you know, adult life. Whereas, you know, it comes with Rin's uh, friend and her lovely dog, Chikawa, um, which is kind of good to see. And having, you know, I, I, Iowa, Chikawa, and Anna and their dog. And, you know, seeing some returning faces like their teacher, um, Rin's grandfather, Nezuko's friend, Ayoi's little sister, Akiri, and Nezuko's sister, Sakura. Just good to see familiar faces, even though as they adapt to their older life, it's just good seeing them, you know, travel and being reunited against the bonds they once shared when they used to go camping. And having uh, their friends, you know, come up with this ambitious proposal to revitalize a packed of town, especially in, the camp, in their prefecture where they all, like, Hainan grew up from. Basically, to see them bring in a new type of memory, but building with each other, while also reminiscing about their high school days and just bringing new life to a, like abandoned patch of land. Would be really good to see in this type of um, you know movie, which I thoroughly enjoyed a lot, especially if you love like that. Can't especially the third season is currently airing now, um, but I can't wait to see um, how the movie shows it, how they progress. And I watch it thoroughly, but when you watch it, you can. Thoroughly enjoy how they progress from childhood to adult. And basically, just the good old feel the laid back camp vibe that they always give. But definitely check out Layback Camp the movie. I definitely give this movie 8.6 out of 10. Thoroughly enjoy it. And I can't wait to see what season bring, brings to them. Take care. Have a great day. Until then, bye.